a the day in the life of a winner. This is my story. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> What we do first, we wake up, we come to here, we have our coffee and breakfast, and then we go to the ball we go, and we go get our shopping carts. And then we go down through Douglas Street and all throughout there, we jump in dumpsters and cans and whatnot. And then we go past the, the museum and we go through their cans. And then on Superior Road, we've got a few good friends who gives us stuff, right? So we're like, do you do? We get that. And then we head to the fisherman's wharf and we go collecting there. We're jumping through bins and all that there. And then after that, we head back to the long walk to the ball people. And then we take our cans there, and then the last thing we do is cash out. And that's our day. That's what we do. Every day we do that. Bidding 101. You wake up in the morning without a cart, you got your blanket, spinning 101, number two, carry your spit in, 10 cents a can. Mm -hmm. um, where are we going to go anyway? It's up to you. Where do you guys want to go? Okay, my name's Richard Atwood. I'm 56 years old and I've lived here all my life. I have seven children. Congrats, 13 bro. grandchildren. My youngest child will be 29 December 19th. Wow. My youngest. I adopted David and Shalane. Thank you, Jesus. You're getting up that day to survive. Every day, our, our daily life and life of dinner is we go together down to the bottle depot where there's a lot of um, derelict carts, shop, old shopping carts there, and we grab a shopping cart and off we go on our run. I think that I'm more fortunate than a lot of the dinners and that I have a wife and that I can um, share our job together so we go out as a team and collect our bottles. There's some places on our route that we split up uh, so we can get more um, more bottles, of course. But more than not, we're together, arguing away and having a good old time. <laughs> and we can make anywhere from 40 to, we've made $170 on one day doing what we do. This is one of my bottle runs that I do. Um, I do residential and I also do apartments and I also do the hospital up the road. But right now I'm going to go collect some bottles from my customers, I guess. This is actually Storage area. This is two days worth of um, basically, yeah. basically two days. Actually, yeah, pretty run, much yeah. a day and a half, really. A now. So uh, that's a lot of return stuff being brought back. <laughs> that's and not going in the garbage. Yeah. Um, this project, I hope it can grow and we can build uh, 10 or 20 more and, and be organized and have it as, you know, people, uh, their real job, what they do during yeah. the day, yeah. you know. Yeah. 
I'm not just a butt picker, but I am. I am somebody. I mean something. Yeah. I am worth something to the community. Yeah. I bring something to the community. Yeah. You know, I don't take, take, take. Yeah. I give. Some of the solutions to homelessness don't need 10 years' times and millions of dollars. Some of them can happen very quickly. And the 10 trailer project today shows that for $1,000 a person, or for the cost of about a week to two week shelter spaces, um, you can give someone uh, autonomy, basic contemporary shelter, and allow them to maintain some self respect and some control over their lives. And so I think that that's. One of the most amazing things about this project is being able to show some alternatives and some solutions that, that don't take uh, uh, a lot of time and money and that can come right from the grassroots and uh, be very effective very quickly. Hello, 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 hello.